Hello friends, this is Holmes, the first time farmer, over 50. Welcome to the homestead. So what we're going to see today um, is a video of what I have done the last two days. We've covered 250 feet of the western property line. So we're going to take a stroll up through that. And the uh, first thing we're going to take a look at, this is a sassafras tree that I had to cut down. And it's one of the biggest ones I have found here on Homestead Ridge. Um, every other one that I've ever found has been really small, but uh, this one had multiple holes drilled in it, I assume by woodpeckers. And then the, um, the center of this thing is not looking good at all. So it's a good thing that I took it down. Right next to it, there's that sassafras tree he probably should come down too he's leaning and i don't think he's in great shape but for the time being i'm just going to let him go and there's another little one growing over here we'll take a look at him in a minute so this is the area that i have this is what i cleared yesterday and uh it rained yesterday it was kind of a miserable day and i only got about uh, 50 feet worth finished yesterday but that's okay and then this is the uh, this is a sassafras tree right here, a little seedling. I let him go. I don't know if he'll make it or not, but you can tell sassafras trees by these funky leaves. They're trilobed. Sometimes they have two lobes, and sometimes they've got just one. So we're gonna let him go and see what happens. Uh, this maple tree right here. This one really needs to go, but I left him. And the reason for that is he is right next to this ash tree. And I am concerned that the branches of this maple are tied up around that. And I don't want to uh, pull him down while I'm trying to drop this maple. So I just decided to leave them both for the time being. All right, and moving up ahead. So this is what I did today. This is 200 feet worth that we got accomplished. Uh, the first thing that I had to do today was figure out where the property line is. Um, 35 years ago, when this property over here was sold, uh, we put in a property line, put in posts. There's one right there that somebody yanked out. And uh, it was just laying there next to this tree on the ground. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here in this area, there's blue paint. It's very faint now, but up through here, uh, there are several trees that have been spray painted blue. So I knew, I knew that these were right on the property line. So that was a big help to figure out where we were going. And then this is a big old dead ash tree and I left him not messing with him at all he's probably about ooh, I guess maybe about 20 inches in diameter too big for me to mess with and we got another beech tree and I have left him go just limbed him up some beech trees have really low limbs and they get in the way so cleaned him up a little bit big old maple tree far bigger than I care to deal with so he gets to stay and then right next to him is a hickory tree and this thing is dropping hickory nuts like crazy I'm surprised I haven't gotten nailed by one yet but I keep hearing them fall and they're all over the ground I've been finding those so one of the reasons I want to get pigs on the ground here so that they can Take advantage of those. Here's another small little beech tree. Uh, this is kind of a, a dogwood grove through here. I cut down several that were um, not in very good shape, but this one right here, pretty nice. Uh, this one here bends, but I left him for the time being. Uh, this one here is nothing really special about it, but 
I didn't bother him. And then there's a couple more. There's one there, and then one down there. So, and then there's a bunch of small ones. So I cut out a bunch of the small ones that were through here, just because there was way too many of them, and we don't need that many dogwoods. We need sunshine and grass to grow. So looking around up here in the canopy, you can see some blue sky. So we're making some progress. And then we got some big trees coming up through here. Now this is kind of a little watershed right in this area. All heading down there to the creek. And then there's a big oak tree there. And we got all this cleaned up through here. This oak tree right here in front of me, it is right on the property line. He's got some blue paint on him. Again, that paint's like 35 years old, so it barely shows up, but there's enough of it there to see and give you an idea of where you are, if you can see it here, but it's right through here. A little bit of blue paint. And we're getting close to the end. And this is not flat ground at all. This is we're on the side of a hill, so everything it slopes to the right and then. Because it's a, a watershed, there's it drops off like right here. It's like a foot and a half, two foot drop. And piles of brush down there. And all the stuff that I cleaned up through here. Oh, and that maple tree right there in the center, that little one. He's going to come out of there too, but I just didn't feel like taking care of him today. So he's going to stay put for a while. And then, a dead log that's been there for a long time, not much left to it. And then, let's see. So I put all these flags in just to kind of give myself an idea of where I was working. And then there's a, there's a piece of PVC that I put on, a, uh, on one of the T-posts. Again, to help me just see where the heck I am in relation to everything. And then this is the next stretch that we'll be doing. And it's really thick. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing this tomorrow, Saturday, October the 7th. Today is Friday, October the 6th. So I'm going to try to get about 100 feet down up through here. And then here is a big old oak tree this is definitely worthwhile for a big timber video so i have to come back and do one on him but he's a he's a big boy he's easily that's easily three foot diameter on that on that tree he's a big big tree all right well that should do it thank you so much for watching we appreciate it please hit like and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again in the future. But if not, we're going to see you in the pasture.